principal ne bedu jemo blog do mille hello i'm pari wala chilkuri at etc so today we have lemma here from bd final year so lemma could you please introduce yourself my name is dolalem nation my friends call me lemma i'm from manipur so how was your academic life it is a life challenging for a visually person to study in utc but it is very interesting to face life and make challenges like this so only by the grace of god i can complete my course and how about your mobility utc is a very fine place for a visually challenged to move around and the campus is very friendly and i used to manage by myself to go to classes from my room and come back alone sometimes my friends help me How did you manage your academic life? Uh, in my studies, firstly, I used to record the lecture, and I used to listen back at home. With my own I do have braille, slides, and stylus to write. This is the day that the Lord has met. Apart from that, we took library books. Since this type of books are uh, the printed material I can't read, so I need to scan. This is the things that I have scanned just before. So it is too fast, I can. We have screen reading software called Zos, Zop Access to Speech. From that, we listen the voice and do the assignment. I used to do my assignment by using Microsoft Word in my system. Okay, I'll type my thesis title that is A Quest for Unity Among the Vipe Christian Community in Manipur. Yeah, this is my thesis title. And coming to the point of exam, the college provide me a scribe. What average do you maintain? I think I maintain B plus grade. And how was your worship like? It is a great experience, like the bazans and the indigenous theme, songs and everything in the worship pattern. In this worship, I used to participate and in UTC, luckily I got the chance to preach for five times. First, before it was my turn, they called me to preach to have awareness about white cane, that is white cane safety day. Finally, from my senior sermon, I preach about the team Dare to be Different. Then I used to participate uh, in the class worship, <laughs> reading the scripture in Braille, and even some of my friends request me to involve in their senior, senior sermon. And Lema, uh, so what are your hobbies? Before I was sighted, during that time, my hobbies were like playing football and volleyball. Now when I lost my eyesight, I give my hobbies to listening to music and playing music. <laughs> so Lema, um, I'm sorry to ask you, how did you lose your sight? In the year 2007, August 23, with my maternal uncle, I went to the forest for trapping. In the forest, accidentally, my uncle misfired his gun. It hit on my face and passed through my eyes, the bullet. So from that moment, I lost my eyesight. So what did you receive from UDC? Apart from the classroom learning, we were sent to different places for field exposure. In my first year, I was sent to Tirunamalai, Tamil Nadu. That is covered is it means where are you going there we have interfaith dialogue center so it is very enriching and it is very nice experience for me to learn and to acknowledge different cultures in second year i was sent to mission to the blind that i have introduced to the college then i was doing the translation for the visually challenged 
like in Braille and write articles and those short scripts for Braille. In the third year, I was sent to Vilur, CMC Vilur. I was there for it in the chaplaincy uh, department. It was very enriching for me to counter with the sick and those who are suffering from cancer and these things. So it is a great experience for me. And finally, I was sent to BSI, Bible Society of India in Bangalore. In that, I was placed in special audience and media department. There, I was working for the brand calendar and Bible. And in regard to this brand, apart from that, we engaged in doing audio Bible for the vision channels. And what were your engagements apart from this? I have participated twice in a seminar. One is organized by me, NCCI in Nagpur. There, I am also one of the resource person, and they give me a paper to present on the topic disabilities from the tribal or indigenous perspective, and that is very well accepted. And even they published my article. Recently, I went to Bangarapet SIBS, and. I present the same paper as they requested me to do so. Uh, how did you engage yourself in UTC finance campaign? When I went for finance campaign to different churches, they asked me, we'll give you the money, not to the college. And I told them, don't give money to me, please give to the college. If you are going to give me, I'll not take the money. Mm -hmm. I'm coming for the college, so give for the college. That is my response. Then I can raise a few, not much amount, but uh, it is. Hope it will be somehow helpful for the college. That's how I did. Wow, that's nice. What prizes did you get? I got three prizes. One is in quiz, another is on debate, and lastly it is the CF Andrew Proficiency Senior Award. Were you able to participate in sports? I used to participate in marathon for my house that is Devanandan group. So we went the prizes for three years consecutively. And what are your plans for the future? I have different plans. But presently first, I thought that I should take ordination in the church. That is my first priority. After this, I'll go back to the church and first apply for the ordination. Then I can expose to different fields like in mission to the blind and even in the Bible society. and. Probably we have one ministry in our hometown that is Gospel Ministry for Disabilities in India. So that is one of the field that I presently involved in it. And congratulations on completing your course, Lima. Mm. And what message would you like to give? And firstly, I would like to thank the college, the principal, the staff, and whoever involved in this UTC family. And in particular, I want to thank to my professor who all are teaching me and to my friends who help me day to day life. And I'm very glad that I can be here in UTC. It is a very privilege for me to be in this such a prestigious institution. So today, I would like to extend all my gratitude to the college and to all my friends and to all my families who are supporting during this my four year of the theological journey. So then what would you sing a small chorus in your mother tongue? I'm going to sing in the Bible language. Then uh, the song which I'm going to sing is Having Jesus. Zesu nehin na nom ki pang na thu gup chu Vaan ka naan ka in ding Ka In particular, I want to pinpoint one, First Peter 5 verse 7. It says that 
Cast all your anxieties unto him since he cares for you. Thank you, Rema. All the best for your future business.